Hey guys, how you doing? So I wanted to show you what I created for my toilet system. This is a very compact. This is a two gallon bucket. So it has a gamma seal lid, which makes it, it comes to about 10 inches tall. And it's about 10 inches in diameter. So everything you need for a guy or a girl to go pee or poop is in this bucket. It's all contained in this one bucket. Just to give you a size comparison. There it is next to a tissue box. So let me take out everything, show you what it looks like. So when you take off the lid, this is what you see. So I'm going to spread this all out and show you what I got in here. First let me show you these uh, double duty bags. I ordered these, they're Ozark Trail brand on Walmart.com and you get six for ten dollars whereas the Reliance brand ones on Amazon are six for seventeen dollars. Now I'm not going to use one of these each time. This is just if things get through the other bag it's just a way of protecting the bucket. So I'd imagine one of these would last me quite a bit. Okay, so here's everything that was in the bucket. There's a two-gallon bucket with a gamma sale lid. I have two containers. If you get pretty good, you can pee in that one. And say if, if you can't dump it right away and you need to go again, you can always use this or something like this to store the extra urine. These are the... These go on in the edge here to make a little bit of a cushion. I'll put those on after. Here is one of those double duty bags. I just keep one open at the bottom for now. Here's a bag of toilet paper. Here's some extra double duty bags. Some Ziploc bags. And these are just some trash bags. So instead of using those each time, I will have one of those in there. And then I'll use like one or two of these to go poop in and just throw it away. So that's just a safety measure in case it gets through those bags. And then I keep all the bags in, an, in a Ziploc bag. Here is an alternative. If you can't aim well enough to go in that little Coffee Mate container, here is a pretty good size coffee can. It's plastic. And this is very easy to, to use because it's very big. Just make sure you get one that has these little handles to grab it because you're going to want to have something to pull it out from under you when you're squatting over it or sitting on it. And if you want a bigger container than this to store the extra urine in, say, you know, it's going to be a long time before you can dump it somewhere, you could always get something like this, a little laundry detergent jar bottle. Um, I got this one with no handle, it takes up a little less room, but this does not fit in that gallon, that two gallon bucket, so you will either have to get a, something smaller or keep this outside of the bucket, which I'm trying to get everything to be in one bucket nice and condensed. So I've been watching a lot of uh, this woman named Sue Ann, she travels a lot in her Prius, she's um. There's some tours of her Prius online. She she pretty much uses this type of system. I just tweaked it a little bit. So I just wanted to give credit to her, and I've been watching a lot of Rusty78069. He camps a lot in his Prius, and as you've heard me talk about, I watched uh, Hotel Prius. But he doesn't really have any type of toilet situation in his in his car, but I definitely want to have something. I don't want to have to use public restrooms. I hate public restrooms, and it's not always handy and convenient. So let me show you how I would set this up. First I put in one of these bags. Now the gray, this is just a zipper bag to store the dirty black bag in. So if you this was messy, you could stick it in here. This has got gel in it, by the way, and you could zip it up in this gray bag. But like I say, that's only if the other bags fail me. 
this gray bag doesn't go open up, but this one will. So say if you're gonna go number two. First. Depending how you want to do it, this you're gonna to want to put these on first. Now I wanted to be able to take these off because I want to be able to put the lid on to keep the smells out just in case there's something in here and just to make it a little bit neater. But of course it doesn't really stay on that good. Maybe eventually they'll mold to it. So you're first going to want to put these on. You know these aren't real thick. I think this is a quarter of an inch. One of these um, pipe insulators. But that'll be comfortable enough. Obviously you're going to be sitting on it. So Then you put this bag like that. Now next you could use whatever kind of cheap bag you could find. I was using the wastebasket size bags. I just get the generic brand at Stop and Shop or wherever. But I would actually double them up. These are kind of too big for here, but just to give you an idea. So I put one bag like that. And if you want to, you could actually use two bags. And then you could just actually sit on it just like that. Another thing I was trying to do is I always use kitty litter. I don't want to have to transport kitty litter. So if you're just going to go number two, you just go in these bags. Now you can throw the, have the toilet paper ready and you can throw the toilet paper in the bag and tie it up. Now I guess if you couldn't dump it right away, maybe you could store a little bit in here. You could then kind of tie that white bag up and then close this up. It just depends how much was in there, if you could fit everything else on top of it. You could even zip up this gray bag now, put it down in there. Okay. So if you just had a pee, now this is going to take a little practice, peeing in this little opening. Um, just a little hint to women. I don't know, I found if I try to put it too tight up against me, it just goes out the back. So I would leave a little bit of space you know, between your body and the opening to this. If anything, put it tight towards the back and a little bit of space towards the front. But of course, I would have a towel down wherever I was doing this. And I'm hoping that I could rig this up to, if I needed to go number two, I could put this actually on the car seat. You know, I could actually sit on it. That's what I know Sue Ann does. But also my thinking is, if I was camped out someplace, I could actually take this whole system and put it inside my privacy tent, and that would be the best option so I didn't have to, you know, finagle it in the vehicle. But just to know that I could, that's what I wanted. I wanted to be able to use the vehicle if I had to. So you go in this, and of course this is, if you keep this upright, I don't think it'll spill, you know, with, once everything's in there. But if you needed to use it more than once before you could dump it, you could put some the extra urine in here if you wanted. And then put that back in there. So I have a couple more of these double duty bags in here, but really, as long as they were somewhere in my storage, I wouldn't really have to keep them in this bucket, I wouldn't think. But for now, I'm just going to stick them in there. And here are some Ziploc bags if you wanted to dump it, the poop, and put it in a Ziploc bag and either put it in a trash bag or put it in here for it fit. You could have those handy. And then again, the bags you're actually going to poop in go in there in the toilet paper. Now, if you go and pee in this, first thing you want to do is make sure you have a, a wad of toilet paper handy. You don't want to try to handle this thing and wipe this and get toilet paper off a roll. So have this handy, have a towel spread out under you just in case. Have a place where you can put this safe before you can cover it. When it's got pee in it, you want to have a, a flat place or a cup holder or some place where you can put it while you wipe yourself and pull up your pants. Or at least wipe yourself. And don't throw the tissue in here. Just throw the toilet paper in a little trash bag. So have that handy also. So, a 
take some doing, but you can put all this in here. Just squish everything down enough. And it's up to you if you you know if you want to keep the you know tape these to the edges, but then you can't put the cover on. That's why I didn't care for that. All right, so that's everything. And then it takes some doing, like I said, but then you can screw the cover on. It's on there pretty good. All right. So then nobody even knows what it is. You can actually use this as to sit on if you want to take it out. Like I say, you could put it in a privacy tent and use it as a toilet that way. And I know the, where Sue Ann keeps hers and her Prius, in the back seat, the seat behind the driver's seat, she uses as her bathroom and everything. And so she keeps all of hers. She has a bucket like this, but it's open. She keeps hers on the hump on the floor right between the seats. So I think I think she has a two gallon so I think that would fit there. So if you didn't care about having the lid, you could even fit, you know, more in there. Sue Ann actually has a, you know, like a laundry jug and everything. So So that's a system that I think I would use and I would use that in pretty much any vehicle. Of course, if you had more room, if you had a five-gallon bucket, I mean, I have a five-gallon bucket with the toilet seat and everything on it, but I just wanted to get something more condensed and simpler. So there it is. All right, so here's that's my toilet system. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Take care.